Okay, so this is a crackle paint cup that I did. This one here, I have a gold glitter epoxy layer underneath. I'm just gonna show how to do the crackle paint effect because I've been asked how to do that. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So I use stainless steel cups from Hog. This is a 24 ounce tumbler. Um, Hog is by far one of the best qualities that I've ever used, this is what I would recommend. Uh, I've found nothing that's compared. So I'm gonna take this cup and sand it down real quick. So I'm using a heavy grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna continue to sand that down until there's no shine left on the cup. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take it inside, wash it with some dish soap and water, rinse it, dry it, and come back and paint it. All right, so this is the cup. I sanded it down, I washed it. And now you wanna spray paint it whatever color you want your base to be. Sort of shaking this up a little bit before. But you just get a good layer. And you just keep going. And here's another cup. It's already prepped. This is what I'm gonna show you what to do on next. Um, but after you spray it, you hang it up to dry, let it dry 30 minutes to an hour. The longer, the better. But it's a great project if you need something quick. Okay, so a lot of people use Elmer's glue. There's a couple of reasons I don't. First of all, I do worry about yellowing with my white paint. Um, so I use this, I get it from Michaels, it's Art Minds. And this is chalk crackle medium. I don't use chalk paint, it works great. I get big cracks that way too, where Elmer's glue does not give you that effect. So here I'm gonna take my paintbrush, coat nice even layers with the crackle medium. You want nice even brush strokes and a nice thick coat. Just keep going all around, don't forget your bottom. After I get it all coated, I'm gonna let it air dry for 15 to 30 minutes. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. I prefer a natural cure time, so that's how I do it. Now that I have it all nice and coated, I'm gonna go ahead and hang it on the dryer and just let it dry. So now that it's sitting here drying, I'm gonna let it sit here for 15 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna come back and show you what to do. So while that's drying, I'll just show you the paint that I use. I just get this from Michaels. I think it costs like $3. You do want it to be acrylic paint. That's the only paint that's gonna work for the crackle effect. Well, I guess chalk paint does too, but that's pretty expensive. You can use different color bases. Like this is a color changing base that I'll eventually do a crackle on. Um, this here has like a burgundy glitter in it. Um, this one I did a teal glitter. But after I'm all done with that other one and it dries, it's gonna have this effect here. That's without any sanding, anything like that. This is gonna be just the crackle paint. Okay, so I already showed you the paint that I was using, just an acrylic white paint. Um, I keep mine in a bowl, easier to get to with my paintbrush. Paintbrush again, nice and dry. A little bit tricky because you don't want to overlap your paint and you need, you need a good thick coat when you go on it. So you're just going to do this one time and you want to try to go as fast as you can and do nice thick straight lines. It's really hard to go back over it because as it's curing, it does something to the paint. So it kind of like coagulates it. Um, so you want to be really careful. You can already see it starting to crackle. Um, so this last one, always oh, coming to come in. And don't worry about getting over on the, so you can already see it starting to kind of coagulate right there. Um, then you gotta do your bottom. And that's it, and you can see it already starting to crackle. And these pieces here where the paint, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna sand it out, you can kind of go over it a little bit, even though it kind of clumped a little bit. You're gonna sand that off anyway. 
Um, but if you're not, just wait for it to dry and then just sand out any of the uneven spots. That's it. And as it dries, it just gets some more crackle on it. And then you're gonna end up with this. This is with a layer of epoxy on it. Just haven't decided what kind of decals or anything I'm gonna put on it right now. And these parts where it kind of messes up a little bit, you're gonna have decals over that anyway. And it just, for me, that just kind of gives it, it's part of the look, the uniqueness of each cup. So that's it.